Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create and save Google Docs in Dropbox. So imagine this, you have created a new document in Google Docs. Now just to be safe or to create a backup, you want to save this file in Dropbox. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy the file, create a folder in Dropbox and manually add the file in Dropbox. This process is very repetitive and tiresome considering you have many, many Google Docs. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that when a new file is created in Google Docs, it will automatically save this file in Dropbox. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Docs and Dropbox. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So this is where I'm going to create a blank document. Okay, so let's name the document as uh, Java Programming. Java programming okay and uh, let me just insert some images and some manuscripts so that it would look like a perfect document okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, copy this uh, file it's actually very not not really necessary all you can do is uh, enter some uh, uh, text here okay so this is the text and uh, let's say we have uh, the image okay so we are going with this image Java for kids so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this uh, whole image and, uh, and and I'm just going to paste it into my new document. So this is where I'm just going to paste this image. Okay. So basically our document is ready. So the title is Java programming, Java for kids, and this is the rest of the manuscript and this is our image. So we have created a perfect document. Now what we are going to do here is I'm just going to click on file, click on move. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that this particular uh, file or the document is present in my Google Drive. Now I'm going to insert this uh, file into this folder, programming folder. Okay. So let me just click on move. Okay. So basically the idea is that once this uh, particular document is uh, brought to a particular folder, it will be reflected as a file in Dropbox. So let's explore. So let me just uh, refresh my Dropbox. Okay. So as you can see, we do have the talk. So let me just... Uh, uh, show you the doc. Okay, so this is the same doc that we have Java for kids. Okay, and this is the same manuscript So basically this is the idea whenever a new Google document is created It will be reflected as a document also in Dropbox. Okay, so to begin the actual process first type pabli.com Okay, so pabli.com has an app called as pabli connect which will integrate Google Docs and Dropbox Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com here. Just click on sign in Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on Access Now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, Create Workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Docs to Dropbox. Google Docs or Documents to Dropbox and then just click on create okay so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so basically here I'm going to create a new workflow now if you want access to this workflow I have made sure that I will make the link of this workflow available in the description box now in the choose app how about we make it as Google Docs Google Docs I'm sorry Google Docs and in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Okay, so new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is created in Google Docs, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, we only have one trigger event, that is new file. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build a trigger event for you. Okay, so at present, I just want to send the data when a new file is created. So basically at this point, we are just trying to integrate Google Docs to Pabli Connect. So let me just click on connect with Google Docs. In the new credentials, let me just click on connect with Google Docs. Okay, so as you can see, we have a series of uh, Gmail accounts. So uh, this uh, particular Google Docs is present in this account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so it is asking me to confirm my choice. Just press allow. 
okay so it is showing the authorization successful just press ok okay so as you can see we have a blank called as the folder and we explore this so these are all the folders that is uh, present in my google drive okay so let's ignore that for a while so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to create a new doc okay so i'm just going to create a new doc so the name of the doc is let's say uh, programming for c plus plus okay we're going to create a document for uh, c plus plus programming document or instructions for c plus plus programming okay so this is a new doc and we are going to follow the same approach so basically what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to copy some uh, uh, image as well as uh, the text okay and i'm just going to paste it here so this is something i have so this is a pdf i had i'm just going to copy it with this uh, image and paste it here of course you can ignore this step it's not nearly really necessary uh, and uh, these are the instructions we have okay so let me just uh, copy all of this i have uh, copied this and i'm just going to paste it here okay so i'm just going to let me paste it okay so we have entered our text so now we have a perfect google docs so basically now what we are going to do here is i'm just going to click on file and i'm going to create a new folder so let me just click on move okay and uh, for your consideration we are going to work with a new folder so let me just click here and i'm just going to enter the name of the folder is uh, as a something um, kids programming so this will be the name of the folder that is kids programming okay so a folder has been created now of course you can work with the old folders but uh, for your consideration i'm working with the new folder so let me just click on create okay so a folder has been created and let me just move this file here okay excellent so a folder has been created and we have also moved this particular file this particular dog to that particular folder so what i'm going to do here is let me first uh, take you to my drive and let me just uh, refresh this okay so as you can see we do have a folder called as kids programming it's not that really important let me just go to public connect and let me just refresh this okay so when i click on refresh i can expect to find the newly created folder that is kids programming so the idea is that whenever a new file is created in this particular folder it will keep sending on the data so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on save and send test request so when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created file so this is the recently created doc or the file so it will fetch the data of this particular folder this particular file so let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see we do have the file that is uh, the instruction for c plus plus programming and uh, let me just explore the rest of the things so this is the web view link okay and then we have uh, then we have the where is the detail okay so this is basically me my i am the owner of this file so that is why it is showing this and this is the email address from which we have uh, uh, in which we have created this uh, file the gmail account in which we have created this document excellent so basically a file has been created okay and uh, we have also mentioned the folder in which this file is present now basically we have to share this folder now to share this folder we have to share using google drive now this is because this particular file as well as the folder is present in google drive so let me just go to public connect and let me just click on this plus button so basically we are going to introduce another window so using this window we are going to introduce google drive so in the choose app how about we make it as google drive google drive it is okay so now in the action event how about we make it as share a file with anyone so basically the idea is that we are going to share this particular file to anyone with the link okay so let me just click on connect with google drive okay so in the new credential let me just again click on with google drive and uh, this particular google drive is present in this gmail account so i'm selecting this one okay so now it is demanding access so before you click on allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok okay so as you can see by default it is showing instruction for c++ pro programming in file id now this is a very static id i mean we want a dynamic id because we will be creating a ton of documents so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to toggle this to the right remove this okay and basically in the file id we want this id so let me just uh, scroll this up so this is the id we want okay we basically want to map this particular id here okay we want to map this particular id here 
okay now to map this let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button when we click this we will find all the data that we have received from the trigger so this is the id we want and we have mapped it excellent easy okay so when i click on save and send test request it will create a shareable link so let me do that okay okay so as you can see the api response is showing anyone with the link okay so we actually have a ton of choices the some of them include the pdf ones then we have the zip ones we basically and of course the uh, plain text now we basically have to share the doc one so let me just uh, show you which is the doc one so i'm sorry this is not the one this is not the one i think this is the one the doc okay so this is yeah so basically we are going to share this particular uh, file link this particular link to dropbox okay so what i'm going to do here is uh, to deal with dropbox we are going to introduce uh, one more action window okay so in the choose app how about we make it as dropbox dropbox it is okay so now in the action event how about we make it as upload file okay of course uh, this point we only have one action event now in case if you want more action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the readpabli.com to custom build an action event for you okay so let me just click on connect with dropbox and the new credential connect with dropbox okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok okay so as you can see a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a document in dropbox from the data that we have received from google docs via public connect now uh, we have this something called as the file url so basically as i mentioned before this is the file url we want okay the one with equal to docs so we are going to map this particular detail here now already i have introduced you to the mapping button we are going with the second one the second accordion okay so so let's explore where is our talk yeah and we have mapped it now coming to the file name so the file name is basically i i plan to create the same file name okay and uh, there must be an extension so i'm just adding talk x okay easy now coming to the folder path so basically what i'm going to do here is for this uh, particular type of uh, uh, folders we particular type of file we are going to create a new folder so this is my dropbox account and i'm going to create a new folder so i'm keeping the name of the folder as uh, shine and let me just click on create okay so a folder has been created called as shine so i'm just basically going to copy this okay and i'm going to public connect and let me just enter slash and I'm going to paste the folder name, okay, slash shine. So that's the idea. So it's uh, already showing the description while uploading a file in the folder name, sample folder, the folder path will be slash sample folder. Okay, so if you are creating uh, subfolders, it would be uh, something like sample folder slash new folder, okay. So basically what we have done here is we have created a new folder called as shine. And since we want to uh, send uh, this particular folder or input this particular folder in this particular file in this particular folder. So we have uh, made the folder path as slash dot sign slash uh, dot uh, slash and shine okay so let me just uh, click on save and send test request and you will see that this uh, particular talk is present in my dropbox okay so what i'm going to do here is uh, let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is giving a very positive response what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to refresh this okay so as you can see we do have the folder we do have the file that is instruction for c++ programming so this is the same doc we had okay so this is basically the same doc we had and now we have the same doc in uh, dropbox so basically this was uh, the whole process and uh, before we end this, uh, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I have minimized my action window. I have also minimized this action window and also minimized the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you have created a document in Google Docs and you have also integrated Google Docs to Public Connect. And then you have used the Google Drive to share a file with anyone. And now, of course, you have integrated Dropbox to Public Connect so that you can actually create a new file uh, from the data that we have received from Google Docs. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Docs and Dropbox. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.